All right, let's practice doing areas of rectangles. And I love doing areas of rectangles because I get to multiply. Because we need to remember that to find area of a square or rectangle, area equals length times width, okay? L times W. So whatever the length is, you multiply it by the width. Okay, and although there's four sides, we only use two sides to multiply. So the first question says, what's the area of this rectangle? So one side is three, so we multiply it by the other side given, and that's one. So three times one equals three. So it's three millimeters squared. Next one, same thing. What is our formula? length times width. So I have three millimeters times two millimeters. So three times two is six. That's basically saying that this would be filled with six squares. And that's where the square comes from, okay? So our answer is six millimeters squared. Next one, we have three by one. So what would the problem be to find the area? Three times one, which equals three. So our area is three inches squared. Next problem. Ah, it's a square, and this one has one meter by one meter. So what is my multiplication problem? One times one. What is one times one? One. Good job. All right, this time we have another rectangle, and I see two, and I see one. What is my multiplication problem this time to find the area? Two times one. Now here's the question. What if somebody said it's one times two? Could I still do it that way? Absolutely. Remember, flipping those numbers around for multiplication, you're still going to get the same product, the same answer. So two times one or one times two equals two. This time we have a square. What numbers do we have? We have five inches and five inches. So what's my multiplication problem? Five times five. What is five times five? Five times five is 25, 25 inches squared. Next up, we have another rectangle. One side, the long side is two centimeters, short side is one. What's my multiplication problem? Two times one. What is two times one? Two. And because it's area, okay, remember, we have to say centimeters squared. Okay, next one four by two. So long side is four, short side is two. My multiplication problem is four times two. What is four times two? It's eight. Good job. So that's saying that I could have four rows with two squares in each row to fill it up. And each one of those squares is one mile. Next one. This rectangle, long sides are three millimeters, short side is one millimeter. So my multiplication problem for area is three times one. What is three times one? Any number times one equals that other number. So three times one equals three. Good job. 
All right, last one. This time, our figure has dimensions of five millimeters and one millimeter. So what is my area? We figure it out by doing five times one. Five times one equals five. So my answer is five millimeters squared. Awesome job finding those areas.